Welcome to Artifications, I'm Roland Ramos. Here we are in New Orleans in the legendary Congo Square, part of Louis Armstrong Park. We're here in one of America's oldest cities to ask ourselves the question, what really makes the world go round? Is it love? Is it money? Is it something else? We pose this question and others to Professor of Art Tony Campbell over at his new exhibition at The Mint, part of Prospect 5, a triennial that takes place all over New Orleans. On our way in, we notice that there's the blessing of the baby dolls, the start of festival season here in New Orleans. The baby dolls were founded in 1914. You are in yesterday, you are, you, you know, and you are in tomorrow. You know, you can go to the Jazz Museum here and hear the music of a hundred years ago, and you can walk down Bourbon Street and hear today's sounds. So, um, my name's Tony Campbell, um, and we're at the Mint. I'm um, one half of Generic Art Solutions with Matt Biss, and we have an exhibition at the Mint called Face Value. So Matt and I have been working together for 20 years and um, uh, money became such a hot issue when so many people were losing their jobs um, during the pandemic and, um, and so we kind of, in the show we have um, a jukebox with um, you know, music in it and the idea is we're going to replace those musical, like bought, store bought songs about money and have local artists and pay them to um, record a song about money. So, and the musicians have been the most uniquely um, affected by um, the pandemic by not being able to work, you know. Whilst artists like myself can hold up in the studio, and pandemics can actually be somewhat positive in a way, just for a focusing inward, um, whilst um, music isn't quite like that. So, We often use humour as a kind of a way to get at um, kind of our subject. Um, so, you know, we, we did very much felt that the coin was a, an object for a post-truth society, right? And so this kind of like dishonest coin that, um, that and it's a patriarchal coin, right? As many p coins are. Um, so, and the, the, you know, older white, white men like myself, kind of in this world seem to, you know, be able to do things that others are not able to do, you know, at all, and always, they're always on top, they're, they're, go, they're flying to, into this space as we speak, right, so. Well, I'm, you know, I'm from the UK, I'm born in London, um, and um, New Orleans has a European flavour to it, um, it has little centres, you know, each neighbourhood has a centre and there's bars and restaurants and places to get breakfast, and, um, you know, Creativity is everywhere. I mean, everybody makes their costume for Mardi Gras. You know, like everybody's got a hand in the creative arts in some way. It's a, a satellite. So it's um, face value was, is a prospect satellite. So they um, prospect is supporting it with a small grant and it's curated, i.e. You, you, you apply for it and then, um, and then they, they approve it and kind of and support it. And so we kind of felt kind of um, seeding ourselves inside the mint, inside the, 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 the displays with the other um, artifacts from the history of New Orleans and the history of this building, which, um, which minted coins for, um, you know, for Louisiana, it minted coins for the Confederacy and the federal government. So like it's gone through, you know, different iterations of what nationhood is um, the Mint is now um, the Jazz Museum. So there's two different things. There's a, the, 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 the historic building of the Mint itself and then the history of jazz, which is this birthplace of jazz. And so those two combining, so that's why we've put um, such an emphasis on music in the show as well. <laughs> 